In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My beloved, we are close, coming close to the Christmas time. And it's a joyful time and the season we're going through. Our, my question is today, as we're celebrating the Advent weeks, to us, why does God need to incarnate, to born in flesh? It's a big question, but I will not answer all the details in it. I will say it in a simple way. We know all that God, in the, in the few weeks ago, we saw that God wants to unite, reunite in us. We know that Adam, our father, sinned, and through the sin, we went away from God. What God wants from us, He wants to reunite with us. He was waiting, as we saw in the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, that I want to reunite. I'm waiting that moment of the Annunciation, which w when Virgin Mary said yes to him, she opened the way back from heaven that the word of God could come, become flesh, and born as a human, as us, with full divinity and full humanity. This is what God wants from us, my beloved. God wants us to understand the incarnation in a simple way. He, the, 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 the mystery God, He became a flesh. He incarnated from Virgin Mary. Then what happened? That they could see Him, they could touch Him, and then we could eat Him as well through the communion. It is simple, my beloved, that each one of us would love to have a gift. When we go to the party of birthdays, parties, we know that we, we, we take with us a gift. God and His birthday, and who, 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 who of us doesn't like gifts? The only one that we go and celebrate his birthday, his day of birth, is Jesus Christ, who he gave us gifts on behalf, we give him gifts. And also in Christmas, if you could see with me, we could see Jesus and others. When we could see Jesus and others, we are giving, sharing gifts to each other. Just one thing God wants from us today, to be prepared for his Christmas and the new year. And the thing I love in this season, that Christmas comes before the new year. That in these times of the Advent time season, we could prepare ourselves to be a gift and a new stable, a warm one, a warm cave that Jesus could born in. in. For that, my beloved, today, my sermon is about how we prepare ourselves to be a warm cave that Jesus will born in and be a nativity scene. First thing I would like to say, it's about clean the stable of your heart. What about before the Christmas time, a few days like the 20th, 21st, when we don't have schools or we don't have work, and those three days before Christmas or after, we could go to the priest and make a confession that he uh, swipes, that we swipes out our dirt and make it clean. What about uh, focusing on one sin only before New Year and Christmas, like uh, anger, lust, or uh, bad thoughts, striving to overcome it, and praying to God that uh, help us overcome it and approach Christmas and New Year clean. What about the other thing that we give sacrifices? That, do you know, my beloved, God, who the angels worshiping in heaven and live in His glory, He make Himself poor, that He born in a cave without having anything as a poor human. 
that God who make himself poor is an example for us to be poor but in what not in money of course it's about talking about sacrificing things in our life if we go to our closet or the place where we put our toys or our stuff we can think about if we don't use it and still good we can share it and sacrifice it also uh, what about sacrificing as a church from kids like seven years old and above to to have this uh, to fast we have after uh, next Wednesday after five days we have 10 days fasting for preparing ourselves for the Christmas how about doing this all together how about uh, uh, sacrificing the urge TikToks or Facebook times or opening those stuff we're always on on the on the screens and give sacrifice for, for God of them and and watch maybe uh, spiritual movies uh, maybe uh, pray with others maybe we serve one of our family uh, members the second thing to be prepared is to serve if you could see that there's activities in the church how about you go approach the servants the leaders of the youth and ask them or the Sunday schools in a way to serve to give what they have, the gifts you have to God and the church or maybe you could serve one of your parents or one of your friends or or, or relatives what about um, saying supportive words you know the people around us they are so hunger to, to supportive and encouragement words they're waiting many of us waiting those words good words from from us to them how about serving others just by good words try to do this as well in the end my beloved I would like to tell you to be happy be happy and live faith you know when we are satisfied we are happy and when we are happy we make others happy if we make others happy then we are making God happy as well because his gift is not just materialistic one it's about good words good deeds praying and in the end i would like you to have a pen or a pencil and a paper and sit with yourself meditate your, your year what you did all the year did i did good exam did was i a good example to others did i reflect the light of jesus to others did i just thought about about myself did I thought about my parents? Did I say thank you? Do you know, repentance is not about repenting about bad behaves or sins. It's about building. When we, when we, when we uh, repent on bad uh, behaves or sins, we call it negative repentance, which means we are destroying the bad behaves in us, okay? And uh, it's like digging in the ground to build a house. You need to dig right when you dig this is we call it negative repentance where where we take all the rocks and the sand from there to make to establish a good 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 land for building we call that building a positive repentance which is not just we repent from the sins we need to build something else good behave or good habit reading the Bible like today Sansar and San Behna and San Vexinos they were great people they didn't know God before but when they became great when when they believed when they repented through San, San Matthew the hermit then they became Christians then they became great and martyrs that, this is the way we become great not depending on ourselves when you depend on yourself remember that you are because your weakness, your, your strength, you, the one you, you depend on it, is not the one that comes from God. When you feel that you're weak, ask His strength. That time, God could work in you. If you're strong, 
Just glorify him. Tell him, Lord, maybe I'm depending on myself. Please give me the next year, 2022, to depend on you. Let me be ready. Take my weaknesses. Take my sins. Take my dirts. Cleanse me and make me new each day until I deserve that you born in me and that I could born like John. And the Bible could say that when he was born, everyone was wondering what will be this child i wish that god give you the grace that each one of you when others sees you or hear about you that they say what person are you and how god will work in your life may god bless you all